Greetings everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about your energies, how you get them, where they're stored, what the process of retrieval is, and what some things cost you. And this video and the information contained within it are for supporters only. So let's get started. You have a main synergy cell, which is yours and yours alone. It is filled to full when you enter this game. It is your energy reserves. Now, for each day that you wake up, you receive an energy supply in addition to your synergy cell reserves that you tap into for your daily uh, running expenditures. The daily type of things are talking, eating, walking, doing your daily entertainment expenditures, those type of things. Now, the amount of daily reserve that you get is based on how full your synergy cell tank is at the beginning of the day. Because you get a daily energy supply, a secondary daily energy supply, based on what you have accumulated and maintained in your synergy cell, your main reserve cell. So, the fuller that cell is, the more energy you collect each day. Now, let me talk about how your usages vary. Now, the only energies that you can retrieve at the end of the day are the ones that are used from your daily supply. From your daily supply. Now, if you retrieve those energies, because those are new energies, they're added to your synergy cell, which increases it at the end of your day. And so the beginning of your new day will have a larger daily supply because you have added more energies to that main synergy cell reserve. How does that main cell get tapped into? And it's a choices that you make. There's actually a lot that's going on here with these um, reserve, with the reserve in your secondary daily supply. And there are many things that are tapping into your synergy cell reserves, choices that you make throughout the day that is lowering and depleting that supply. Number one is meat, eating meat, consuming animals. Number two is orgasm. Orgasm is a direct withdrawal from your synergy cell, your reserve. Anything taken out of your synergy cell, your reserve cell, is totally non-retrievable. These are pay-to-play, pay at the time for the experience. They are withdrawn from you immediately upon your choice and your decision to experience that thing. There are many, many things that come out of your synergy cell right off the bat you cannot retrieve. They have nothing to do with your daily energy supply that is given to you that can actually be retrieved at the end of the day. Now, unforgiveness every day that you are in unforgiveness, you are 
using energy reserves from your Synergy cell that you cannot retrieve. And it is very draining. The longer you go with unforgiveness every single day, you are tapping into that reserve. And you cannot retrieve those energies spent in unforgiveness. There is a long, long list of things that have uh, that tap into your synergy cell that are unretrievable energies at the end of the day. And that's another video. Right now I'm talking about how this system works and your choices. Your choices throughout the day determine what your energy supply is. Now, everyone entered this game with a full synergy cell of reserve energies. And each day that you have been here, you have received new energies based on a representation or percentage of whatever was in your energy tank. So those who had more energies that had kept their energies and had not expended them received more energy for their daily supply. Those who have more get more. Those who have less get less. You see, because you have less because of choices that you have made to use and tap into those energy reserves in your synergy cell. Now, let's focus on the daily supply. You go through your day. You have an emotion. Emotions are non-retrievable. However, the actions and that accompany those emotions are retrievable. Okay. Say you got angry at something and you hit a door. The emotional energy is withdrawn from your synergy cell and is non-retrievable. But the acting out of that emotion and the physical body response to that emotion is retrievable at the end of your day. This is why it's so important to remain neutral. You can see how your energy reserves will be maintained and therefore your daily supply will be greater by maintaining your energy reserves, your synergy cell. Now, at the end of the day, when maintenance is done, if you have gone to sleep without retrieving your energies, your daily energy supply, your secondary daily energy supply for the day, if you have expended any part of it and you have not retrieved it, then those energies go to the matrix collection center. If you retrieve all retrievable energies, which is all of the, all the energies, all the daily supply that you are given, the secondary daily supply is retrievable if you do it. Anything that is non-retrievable is taken automatically, immediately from your synergy cell reserve tank. You have spent them. You have made a decision whether you were aware of it or not, to indulge in those emotions or those experiences, you have a price that is paid. It must be paid up front. It comes right out of your Synergy Cell Reserve Tank. Now, your daily energies, if you do not retrieve them at the end of the day, the ones that you have expended go directly to the Matrix Collection Center. And those that have not been used go into your Synergy Cell Reserve Tank because you did not spend them. They were allotted to you for the day, so therefore you didn't spend them. Then they get directly deposited into your Synergy Cell. And it increases depending on how many uh, things that you did during the day that took your cell down. You may or may not be higher at the end of the day than you were when you started. Each day is a new day 
a new day, a new beginning. You get to start your day over with a fresh secondary energy supply and it is based on the reserves that are in your synergy cell. It is a direct reflection of your, your synergy cell reserves. You came into this game with a full cell. Winning this game for yourself means exiting with a full synergy cell also. There are rewards that go with that. That's the object of the game, to not be tapping into your reserves, to be experiencing things and you can build back up your supply if you don't use all of your daily energies and you do not choose and make choices that tap into your energy reserves. Now, I have to say that on November 11th, 11, 11, 2016, which is a 9, 9, 11. On November 11th, 2016, the game was unlocked. That is when the big win occurred. And there were big changes in the Matrix system. Things were unlocked. Things were restored. Now, that big win or that unlocking of the game and restoration of your source fractal pieces that you had given up through orgasm were restored to the individual source fractals. And along with that, their synergy cells were filled back to as when they started the game. So the only thing that's missing from your synergy cell now is if you made choices that would tap into your reserves and you have been doing that every single day and you've had nothing left over um, to refill. So your daily allotments have been larger, but depending on what you have chosen to uh, experience and spend those reserves on, you could be um, dropping uh, down and not getting as much as you were on, you know, in the beginning. Now, um, what does that synergy cell represent? Well, that synergy cell has to have a certain amount of energy in it before you will be able to raise your frequency level or plane. Okay? When the game was unlocked and you got your cell, your reserve cell, your synergy cell uh, completely refilled, you had, you have opportunities now that you would never have been able to have had before as an infant because you are an adult and now hopefully once you get how this system works this energy expenditures there is nothing in this game that doesn't cost you something okay life in this game costs you something because breathing eating walking talking pumping your blood those are all energy requirements and those are used out of your daily energy supply to function in this game on your daily now day. The energies are given to you as a direct result of your synergy cell and how you have used or consumed or saved your reserve energies. Now, if your reserve, okay, if your energy, your secondary energy daily supply is not enough for your energy expenditures for the day. In other words, if you get your daily supply and you do exercise that you enjoy or you do uh, things that you enjoy 
and you have totally emptied your retrievable energy tank for the day, then reserve energies are given to you, are given to you as an increase in your daily supply. These energies, as long as they are retrievable energies, can all be retrieved at the end of the day. So basically, you do have the potential of, if you experience more in a joyful way that is a retrievable energy, you could actually take down your reserves and put them in your daily supply and retrieve all of them back and it goes back. So you could, in, a, in essence, experience more without loss. Your daily supply is given to you on top of, in addition to, your reserve tank. Anything left at the end of the day goes into your synergy cell, your reserves, and your next daily allotment is based on your reserve, your synergy cell reserve energy. Complicated but easy once you gain and comprehend how it works. So, non-retrievable energies are taken directly from your energy reserves. It is a choice that you make. It is uh, pay to play. It is energies that are non-retrievable. Your daily supply is always retrievable if you know to retrieve your energies at the end of the day, you can retrieve them all. If you don't do it and you don't use up all of your daily supply, then whatever is left over just automatically goes into your reserve tank and uh, increases it, may offset some of your uh, non -retrievable, uh, retrievable energies that you have used during the day. But it all depends on that tank and what level you are at. You have all of these uh, video games that have the players and they have energy levels and topping them up, giving them more power. Well, the more power, the more energy that you have in your reserve, the more powerful you are in this game. And you do not raise your frequency without having higher energy reserves. It is not possible. You cannot reach the higher planes and dimensions within this game without having a higher synergy cell reserve. That is now possible for every single source player in this game. Go through your day mindfully, mindful of how you are using your energies and whether they are retrievable or not. There are many, many energies that are not retrievable, and that is a video of its own. But you need to know that big ones are eating meat, eating animals, orgasm, and unforgiveness. These are not retrievable, and they come directly from your reserve energy cell. You've lost them. You cannot reclaim them. You cannot retrieve them. They're gone. And your synergy cell determines what your secondary daily supply will be. If there's any energy harvesting going on, in other words, if you have made choices during the day that have tapped into your energy reserves, then those things can cause maintenance to be done on your body during the night. Now, it's not possible for me to give you everything that is non-retrievable energies. For one thing, some things just wouldn't even occur to me to even think about because they're not in my life and never have been, and so I don't even think about those things. So. You need to have a good source self-connection and 
verify for yourself what is a non-retrievable energy. If you are doing something and you feel like, well, I need to know if I can retrieve this at the end of the day, you need to ask your source self if it is a retrievable energy. And I also need to say that you cannot retrieve your energy as expended for the day if you have a locked script. It requires an unlocked script to be able to retrieve your retrievable energies. The retrievable ones from your daily supply. It requires a level six and an unlocked script. You cannot get to a level six without an unlocked script. Ah, well, there are some source players who can reach the highest levels without ever unlocking their script. And they are a certain number of source players who were in this game and ranked top within this group. And when the unlock happened, well, their abilities, even with lock scripts, they have abilities that no one else has. They probably don't know yet. But there is, uh, you could call them the elite group of source players. They were the ones that uh, had won the highest percentages of previous matrixes. If you recall, I said everyone in this game, every source fractal in this game, has successfully completed at least 55% of the previous matrix games in order to even be able to participate in this high stakes experience that we are having. So if you're here, you are the best source players. Source players. Matrix game players. You are the best if you're here. Those who entered Having won the higher percentages, a certain percentage of the ones who entered the game, the ones who had the most wins, previous wins, those are the ones that received some unlocks, whether their script was locked or not, they received certain abilities and powers that were unlocked for them as a result of their ranking when they came into this game. Now, everyone can leave this game victorious. Make wise choices. Determine what you want to experience. Create your best life yet. It's very possible and actually much easier than you may think. This game is all about energy energy flow and that is the game it's all energy and choices how you choose to use your energy and when to pull from your energy reserves and mindfulness means that you are going through your day fully aware of your now and recognizing the energies that you are choosing to use and what you are choosing to bank or put back into your reserve. Knowledge is power. You need to know this. You need to know how to navigate your day that will benefit you. So that's it for this. Um, Stay tuned. Much more to come. Abundance, health, and prosperity and empowerment to you. Thank you, supporters. This video is for supporters only and is not to be shared. Neither is the information that it contains to be shared. This is for you. You are a frequency match to this and you have supported this work and so that is why you are receiving this information. If others desire to know, then point them to supporting this channel because this information won't do them a bit of good. 
without having supported the work. It's a frequency issue. You have to be a right frequency to benefit.